Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Haven's Homestead. Appreciate seeing you again. Well, it's almost 12 o'clock at night, and I, man, I work my bones hurt. I work till my bones hurt today, man. I'm telling you. We got something very special for you bird lovers right here. A very rare breed of bird. Come from the other side of the world. Just to say hi to you. And to live in Haven's Homestead. We got some already. But we want some more. So, stop. Now, I'm trying to do a video. I know that the camera can't see you. But we love you. That's Belly. She's making a fool. Anyway, she's probably thinking I'm talking to myself, and she's like, this guy's crazy, ain't nobody here, he's just talking. But yep, you're about right on that. Dogs probably think I'm crazy, because I'm always talking to nobody. Well, anyway, these are I Am Shamanis. Down here in the South, we call them I Am Samanis. <laughs> who knew? Well, the proper way, I guess, is not always the way that's easy on the tongue. Well, they come from Indonesia, I believe. But the name is, I am, is, means black in Japanese, I believe. And also, I am is also a city, I think, that they think it came from, or area. And, uh... Samani just means chicken. So black chicken. Or vice versa. I'm not sure which way that went. Well, anyway, these guys are something very special. If they have two fibro something genes, which I'm going to leave all the real information in the script because, you know, I'm not good with words like that. It's a fibro, it's really hard to pronounce. It's not the stuff you drink though, it makes you go to the restaurant, that ain't it. It ain't fibro, it's fibro something something. And if they have both of those genes, man, you got a beautiful, perfect bird. Solid black, the organs are going to be black, the tongue is going to be oyster with a black outline, or black, if you're really lucky. And, uh, they won't have many flaws at all. I'm going to leave the standard in the description so you can know more about it. But I know what y'all are here for. Just like me. Y'all are here for the eggs. Y'all want to make sure all them eggs made it safe. And ain't none of them popped. And this person that we get these from... They're really good at what they do. They even sent us extra ones just in case. And that's when you know you're dealing with the reputable person. They don't send you just what you paid for. They send you a little bit extra just in case. And he sent us We ordered six. Let's see what he sent us. Oh, very professional. Very professional. Double wrap, individually wrapped inside the... In, in the bottom and the top had cushion. Stop! Little bit. No, this is not for you. This is for me. That's for my toys. And these eggs ain't for you either. <laughs> Silly wablet. Twitch on for Twitch. Alright, here we go, guys. Let's get this. Oh, I need to be as delicate as possible. We don't want to shake these boogers up. I'm not trying to have a scrambled egg here. You poop. 
Oh, not only is the spot with a clean and nice looking. As you see, I got the day's date on there. 10, 3. A lot of times it's easy if you can push it out like this. Kind of like a rebirth. Oh, that's a big healthy one. You want to stick the lower end down. That way they have the biggest possible air bubble. Y'all might think this is dangerous doing it this way. The egg is the strongest at its points. Because all the weight is... Uh, sent equally throughout the egg. That's why domes are the strongest structures. When you see a building that has a dome, that's a strong structure. You don't see that architect that much anymore. Oh, look at the different colors these guys have. That's crazy, the different colors. All of all, I've seen a bunch of white ones. These got some brownie color ones. Surprising me. No. Stay. Stay, and I might give you a treat. Reaper, take it, take it, little baby egg. It's it, take it, baby egg. Belly, stay. We got two, four, six so far. I think that's what we paid for. Six of them. As you see what I'm doing, I'm just sticking my thumb through there. Popping it out. Look at that beautiful olive egg. That makes seven. Oh my goodness. We truly got blessed. Eight. That one's kind of pointy. Nine. <laughs> Ten. Eleven, and if you do eggs, sell eggs, you keep these and you can reuse them. But you gotta put them up, otherwise they become rat nest. Twelve eggs. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. No, they're not for you. Jelly. I know you wish, but you no. Know. Wait a minute. There's a whole nother rack under here. What the heck? Oh, I know he didn't. Man. There's a dozen eggs in here. I think we ordered six. Hold up. I might be um, opening the wrong egg box. Let me do a quick call here. Get back. You gotta stay. You want that treat. Hey, I got you live on the video. They can hear you. My question is, this thing, I got to 12 eggs, right? Yeah. And then, there's a whole nother rack. Yeah, it's supposed to be 24. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I thought it was only supposed to be 6 or something, for some reason. Yeah, well, that's it. India Gigante is coming on October 4th. Okay, okay. I was like, oh my god, dude, he put way too many in here. I don't know if he's going to be 
Well, we'll fit to find out. You want to, you want to share any information about these special eggs? Yeah, you want me to, to read some of the. Yeah. Stuff? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. restrictions that I was talking about. Um, this bird is also in conservation status. Uh, it's classified as threatened on the livestock conservation um, priority list due to their limited numbers and the challenges of maintaining their unique traits. You'll see a lot of people breeding with one fibro gene and that actually dilutes the gene pool and makes it hard for us to keep this bird in its complete genetic code. Um, 
because of that, it does have a high market value. Um, it's captivating appearance and it's drive in the market does make it a more expensive chicken in the market than you would see um, compared to the others. And it's specialized purpose primarily raised for its unique meat. The Ayam Shimani chicken served a specialized pur purpose in Indonesia, um, which also limited its um, availability. It is a dual purpose um, bird, both for um, its renowned all black meat and for its egg laying um, capabilities. It does produce a limited amount of eggs. So obtaining I am Shimani eggs for hatching can also be challenging due to their rarity. And um, also obtaining shipping eggs like we have today doesn't always have the best hatchability rate because they're going through the mail and it further complicates the propagation of this breed. Um, let's see what else. The typical size, uh, fully mature I am Shimani rooster can reach a weight of eight to six pounds. Um, and then a uh, hen will, can reach the weight of four to five pounds. Let's see what else. Their egg color, unlike what most people think, everything else is black about the Ayam Shimani, but they actually lay a cream colored eggshell, which is in quite contrast to their striking black exterior. <laughs> They so turn they'll, red. They'll start turning less, less black. They'll start turning more gray. Um, their tongue will get more gray. Their wattles won't be as black. Um, 
so that's how another way you can tell the bird has aged. Um, let's see. What did you do? We talked about. Them being black uh, really helps your whole flock, though, because a lot of times chicken hawks, they think that they are crows, and that's the enemy to a chicken hawk. So. Absolutely. In fact, some people just buy one I am shamani to be in their flock to kind of protect the flock because um, the aerial prey don't like hawks at all. They don't <laughs> so like they don't, crows at all. It's like every 45 minutes, and it lets you know when it's going to turn. <laughs> it beeps the whole time. Um, and then you, would, you, you could talk a little bit about the humidity in Mississippi, Robbie, and how that can sometimes come into play when you're setting up humidity in an incubator. Yeah, you have to just play with it depending on how high your humidity is. depends on how much water you need in your reserve tank or if you need any at all. Uh, sometimes yeah. you might be fighting to get it up, and that's when you add water. But most of the time, it's it's pretty right on without anything. Depends on it what did, your uh, eggs are required to, you know. Yeah, like the black copper morans have a different kind of humidity than you would say or an Easter egg or egg because of that super dark eggshell requires more humidity at the end for for the bird to actually hatch out and make that yeah. eggshell soft. Yeah. Is the temperature still 99.5 Fahrenheit? Is that what you said? 99.7. 7. Yeah. And then that's about 37.7 Celsius, if anyone's in Celsius on here. And then the humidity level, are you trying to keep it around 55 or do you keep it lower? I think we were doing dry hatches toward the end of our last hatching season, weren't we? Yeah, it was. It usually starts at around 35, 30, and then at the end we want to bring it up to about 50, if I remember right. All yeah. the way up to 75, but I don't, I don't like going up that high. Yeah, because you can drown the bird yep. um, in eggshells, so you do have to be careful with 
making too much of a humidity. Yeah. And the lower humidity, my understanding is if you do a lower humidity, then the bird might not lose as much weight throughout the um, process. So you do have to worry about the bird. Oh, we lost her. You have to worry about the bird. Uh, if it's not enough humidity, the, the, the incubator, the, the, the egg yolk and the egg and the chick will slowly get smaller and smaller inside, less water, and then it will suffocate it. Your call has been forwarded to well, I guess her phone is dead. Well, that's about it for this video anyway, so really appreciate y'all watching. Uh, like I said, we're going to leave a whole lot of information. We're going to use all 5,000 characters in the description talking about this bird. And uh, I do all kinds of videos about the I Am Shamanis. <laughs> I Am Samanis. We do a whole bunch of videos about them, uh, about the ones that I've been raising for the last seven, eight months. So, God bless y'all. Remember, tell them about a little bit of trouble. Tell them adios, little bit of trouble. All right, y'all. Remember, through God, all things are possible. Peace.